Hi everyone, we all know that if you get a RAM that has a higher frequency than the RAM you had before, you'll get a little bit more speed on your PC. But how much speed you will get? So I'm gonna measure this in this video. So here I have in front of me three sets of DDR4 RAMs. The first set is DDR4 2666 MHz. The second one is DDR4 3200 MHz. And the third one is DDR4 3600 megahertz. Now, these sets of RAMs don't have the same capacity, but this is not important in this video because here I'm testing only the speed of the RAM and I'm not testing the capacity. So during my test, I'm going to make sure not to exceed the maximum capacity of the lowest capacity RAM, that is the 16 gigabytes RAM. Now, what I'll be doing is that I'll be benchmarking these RAMs using two methods. The first method is using Nova Bench, and we're gonna measure the memory transfer speed using this software. And the second test, it will be more of a real life test. So I'm gonna be exporting a five minutes 4K video using my editing software that is VSDC, that is memory hungry. And we're gonna see if we can export this video faster with the fastest RAM. In this first test, I'm testing the shear speed of the RAM. I'm using a benchmark software called Nova Bench to test the transfer speed of the RAM from the RAM to the CPU. Nova Bench, if you want to install it, you can search for it. It is free and it is very easy to install and to use. So here, without any surprises, the 2666 MHz RAM was the slowest one. It was averaging 17,651 MB per second transfer speed, whereas the 3200 MHz was averaging 20,757 megabytes per second, and it was 18% faster than the 2,666 megahertz RAM. And the 3,600 megahertz RAM was the fastest, of course. It was averaging 24,197 megabytes per second, and this is a 17% more speed than the 3,200 megahertz RAM, and 37% faster than the 2,666 megahertz RAM. So in this test, I'm using my video editor, which is VSDC, to export a 4K 5 minutes 60 frames per second video also to 4K 60 frames per second. And in this test, if you only look at the frames per second average, you don't see a big difference. So the 2666 MHz RAM was averaging 21.9 frames per second. The 3200 MHz RAM was averaging 23.3 frames per second. And the 3600 MHz RAM was averaging 24.2 frames per second. But if you look at the time that the video export finished, we see a big difference, especially between the 2666 MHz RAM and the fastest one, which is the 3600 MHz RAM. So in five minutes, we had a gain of one minute and 20 seconds. And this is not negligible at all. If you do the equivalence, for instance, for a video that is one hour, you're going to gain 16 minutes in the exporting of a one hour video. So without any doubt, having a faster RAM will give you better performance on your system. If you want to check out the 3600 megahertz time tech RAM that I used in this video, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage, but this is at no cost to you and this will support my channel. I hope that you liked my video and you found it useful. In case you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to take it a notch further, you can also join my channel as a member. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.